Hey everybody and welcome to my channel Dark Souls Comics. Marine is here. Um, as you can see, this is not a comic book. This is an art book um, of Dragon's Crown. What is Dragon's Crown? It's a, well, it's an art book uh, of a game called Dragon's Crown uh, that came out on the PS3. Um, so why am I doing an art book review? Because, well, I wanted to do a comic review, but I stumbled across this while going through my books. And I'm, I'm a, well, I'm not only a comic book lover, I also art as well. So I am thought, you know what? I'm going to talk about art. In <laughs> Why not? Um, this is the Japanese version. I went to uh, Japan a couple of times. And I uh, stumbled across this one. This is not a very big art book. It's very small. It's almost comic book format. And I uh, can you see this. Yes, it's not very thick, uh, but it wasn't expensive either. So, what is Dragon's Crown? It's a PS3 game, and uh, they made an art book of it. They do that a lot in Japan. Uh, I love this game. You can also get it on PS4, on PS4 Pro, for uh, relatively cheap nowadays. And what is it? It's a beat 'em up game in a trend of Golden Axe and other four co op player games and what i really liked is the art style it's it's just a generic well generic is maybe not the right word it's 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 just a beat em up but it's fun uh beat em up because i love beat em up back in the day on the arcades and they don't make them anymore and um you know i get uh, i saw the trail of this back in the day and i just you know what uh, i bought it and atlas is a pretty good uh it's, it's pretty good. They made uh, Dark Souls as well. And um, so I bought it in Japan. And I, you know what? I just wanted to, to show you the, the beautiful art. Because the art that you see in the book is also the character art in the game. So you play the same characters that you see in here. This is not a character like a 16-bit sprite uh, or 8-bit sprite, and then they made a beautiful art uh, about it. No, 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 no. What you see is in here is also in the... Oh, sorry. So, shake it a little bit. Not sure if you can see it here. Going to zoom it in. Well, it's a little bit difficult to see, but... Oh, yeah. Well, you see it here a little bit better. If you can zoom it in. Come on, zoom. Yeah, well, I'm going to show you in detail. So, open it up. It's hardcover, by the way. And we see here the Japanese language. I cannot read. I speak a little bit, but I cannot read it. Speak a small amount. And as you see here, um, this is the, the fighter. Uh, yes, the, the, the characters in the game don't have names. They are just fighters, wizards, dwarves, something like that. And um, this is also the character that you see in the game. There's no difference. This is exactly how you see in the game. And I saw, just Googled it online. There is also a uh, art book uh, in English format. Uh, also, the format is also different, but I'll come back to that a little bit later. So there is... When it comes to story, there's nothing much to tell except that it's beautiful art. We see here some animations as well that is in the game, uh, which I find very beautiful. And uh, there's a lot of animations here. Um, so, I'm, you know, I'm going to scroll through the, uh, through the, through the book. Uh, what I particularly like is the art style. That's why I picked the game. Uh, and then I find out that the game is actually pretty fun. Uh, solo and with, of course, four-player four player co-op. And you can choose between six people or six characters. Um, and Amazon is uh, one of them. She's a, she's a brawler. And the, the thing I like about the Amazon is the exaggerated body type that she has. She has very wide hips and uh, exaggerated uh, style. And I like that. So we see here. Here, standing or sitting here on the uh, what's kind of rock or a, some, yeah, let, let's call it a rock. I know it's not a rock, but it's a carved out, it's carved out rock. 
I guess. <laughs> and of course, we see here as well the uh, the different kind of um, styles and uh, fighter moves that she has. Pretty cool. This is also a fun, but I come back to that later. And yes, there's some sexy poses here as well. And uh, so, yeah, it's it's absolutely beautiful. We see the dwarf here. The dwarf is very strong. And uh, great. Uh, let's skip a couple of pages. Uh, oh yeah, this is what I like as also as well. Um, we see coming back to the exaggerated body types. We see a beautiful elf, beautiful gear, and then we have very thick legs. Her leg is bigger than her head. It's it's so weird. And and then we see another style here. We see a squirrel here jumping. And see here try to shoot. We see the the shadows behind her. Very cool done. And skip. Then we have the wizard. Is it a wizard? Uh, let me double check. Yes, it's a wizard. So every every character, as you might expect, has different power sets and abilities. And one of my favorites. Yes, this one, the sorceress. Yeah, you can say, well, she has big um, thingies. Um, yeah, also that. But she's a very cool character. She's very strong, and she has different uh, power set moves that I really like. Um, love, love, love this art that she pulls the skeleton to her chest, and then you see here uh, a toad or frog, and then if it can, can I change that? Oop. So cool detail. Uh, her wand is as a face. It's great. It's great. And then we see, of course, also uh, some NPCs. In the game as well uh, like this one he's a coin master and this is an elf that could be ripped out of a Disney uh, Disney movie or Disney cartoon and you know some sigils and this is a these, these are NPCs that you can talk to and the fun about it when you see it on screen you see a little bit of animations in there uh, I mean the hair is a little bit flowing or the clothes are moving or her chest is uh, going up and down like she's breathing and there's some dialogue in the game and then you can basically talk to her uh, progressing the story and it looks more like a painting in my opinion beautiful lightning beautiful layers of uh, shadows and light and and very vibrant colors that i like and that's I mean, she's ashen white, alabaster white, if you are, if we can call her that, with blonde white hair, um, she's royalty, and then we have the beautiful red dress with a lot of details, and she has a book in her hand, uh, she has some, a, what do you call it, uh, well, it's not a necklace. I forgot, <laughs> but you know what I mean. I mean, we see this here as well with these people, these these dukes, I guess, or uh, advisors, um, because basically what is the game is about? It's more like a, um, well, the, the, the player has to, to find a relic called the Dragon Crown, and there's a journey, uh, and you can battle dozens of enemies, uh, monsters, and... Uh, enemies uh, and, and, and sorcerers and abominations. Uh, also, you can find chests with gold that you can bring back to the this, this safe haven called uh, this a town. And then when you go back in the town, you can spend that money. Also, you can find um, corpses of fallen enemies, of, uh, I'm sorry, fallen friends. You can take the, the corpses back and then you can resurrect them and add them to your... Uh, well, to your party if you want, um, because if you do not have uh, four players to uh, or a couple of friends with to, to play with, you can add NPCs um, to play with you, and it could be the, indeed the dwarves, uh, but they also also have different stats and a little bit slightly different look and color schemes. Uh, so if you go to the town, so this guy here is selling you. It's very it's very, it's very straightforward. Um, he's selling you axes and a. Uh, let's say, great swords and this, well, enchantress uh, person can sell you potions like healing. And then we have this wizard here that can send you trinkets 
and staffs and uh, rings that give you certain buffs, etc., etc. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely. And we, this is the places that you can go. That's on the loading screen. You can, you know, travel to it and then battle various monsters. We have some NPCs as well, and then we see here a slight notch to uh, Disney as well uh, to Mickey Mouse. Um, he uh, was starring in a an animation called the, the Sorcerer's Apprentice or something. Don't quote me on that, but it's it, that's it's very funny and a uh, lot of beautiful art. You can all all interact with these people, and you go uh, can go into different paths as well. Then we see some different enemy types. And, uh, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful how they created it. There's so much detail in here, so so much variety. And it's it's not only... Oh, yeah, by the way, the other one I want to talk about. This beast here uh, reminds me of uh, Masters of the Universe uh, Panther. That is, uh, it's the Panther of... Uh, Skeletor and Skeletor can ride a, a, a I believe it's called Pentor or something like that <laughs> I'm sorry I, I probably am totally wrong about this but it reminds me you can ride on these creatures by the way and on this ones as well so yeah and this this and they jump to the uh, enemy uh, enemies and with you on top of them and these dragons Fang Lizard can breathe fire uh I'll skip a little bit. And these are the hardest bastards in the game, the dragons. It looks exactly like this. And there's sometimes they are very, very big and go from the screen. And then you have to, you know, survive. And then we have some some illustrations, some beautiful uh, art as well that is not in the game. Well, you can show it in the game. You can unlock it, by the way. So you can unlock um, different area stages and... Uh, at that the lighting is so beautiful i cannot ex express that enough and this is what i like as well yeah i'm praising this a lot you can camp and you can make your own uh, if you have the ingredients you can make your own pot of foods and those foods can give you stats like healing buffs or uh, maybe you are stronger or faster something like that and you see here you have the meat you have the the soups uh, you have fish you have crab uh, you have vegetables, uh, clams, absolutely beautiful. I mean, the artists are in this in this book is so good. I, I mean, if I look at it, I'm I'm getting hungry. <laughs> it sounds weird, but it's so lush with with vibrant colors that it's very realistic. And then we have some sketches here. Unfortunately, there's not much of it, but I, I like everything I can get. Um, yeah, beautiful uh, splash page. Yeah, I, I show you basically everything. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I uh, I mean, it's so beautiful. I can't get enough of it. I um, hope you like it. Uh, on Amazon, there is, I double-checked it, there is a uh, an art book uh, in English, and it has 200 pages, and uh, it has different art, that is not in this book. So I was a little bit surprised about that. I wish it wasn't here and well. But hey, um, I'm not complaining. This is great. And if you want to see more of this art, because this art is not only... Um, I'm sorry, I re must rephrase that. The art that is in the English edition is not only uh, art what you see in here, but also different illustration from different artists. So what you see in here is mostly what is in the game. So this is a game artwork book. And then what you uh, can get um, on Amazon or uh, anybody else, it's an official art book, also hardcover. And it, it features different types of art as well uh, from different artists and uh, beautiful illustrations. So, yeah, uh, it's great. It's absolutely great. I just wanted to show you. Maybe you want to say you want to have to pick it up as well. If you like art and are interested in the game, you can get it on PS4 for a reasonable price. If you like uh, fighting, beating up games with your friends, absolutely recommend it. And also this art book as well. Also, you have seen basically everything. So sorry for that. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't did that. Or maybe you want to do that. And I uh, see you next time.